Hello, and today I want to cover a couple of tips in mental re. The first tip is in lighting. Now lighting, lighting can make a hell of a difference to a scene or model. Here we have a teapot which I've just added a glossy texture to it. And then here I've rendered it into metal ray, added a couple of Omi lights and here's the end results. Ten times more realistic. In mental ray, sometimes shadows can come out very sharp and unrealistic. This is with the area light off. But if you turn the area light on, the shadows can be feathered out and ten times more realistic. I would highly recommend turning on the area light when rendering in mental ray. This tip can be applied to many areas of CG and 3D in particular. In reality, nothing is perfectly straight, clean and has 90 degree angles. If your models are like that, it won't look right. Adding some very subtle noise along with good lighting will give you some very subtle shadow play, even on flat surfaces. I would make sure your mesh is dense enough before applying this. I would recommend adding a turbo smooth first. As you see in the picture, I've added a turbo smooth noise and changed the lighting, which has made the model look 10 times more realistic. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe for more tips, tutorials and general advice in 3D Max and Photoshop.